Okay, so the first thing I want to introduce you to is a conversational analytics experience that is available directly in the ClickSense Hub on our SaaS environments. And this is the Inside Advisor chat. And uh, you can see that it is available through uh, pressing this button right across the top. It's basically multi-language, uh, natural language processing that understands my intent and delivers insight using natural language generation and insights that include auto-generated charts, narratives, and observations. So by clicking this button here, you can see we have a welcome message and some quick buttons. If I click the apps button, you can see that there are two apps that are enabled for Insight Advisor Chat. And let me show you how simple it is just to make an app available to start asking questions directly within this interface. So I'm gonna switch over to this tab here and you can see I'm in the settings of a particular app and there's a switch, Enable Insights for Chat and Hub. Simply by turning on this switch, it tells Insight Advisor to now include this in its catalog and it starts to look at the data model and the master items so you can start asking those questions. Okay, so let's ask Insight Advisor some questions. I'll start out simple. How many customers this year? Now we're submitting basically a question on account of the number of customers uh, with the context of a time period. And you can see the response is number of customers is 73 between this particular order date. We have some feedback and, and quality checks here that also kind of show you the, the master measure, what's being used, the filters that are applied. So this kind of gives you a little bit more feedback and understanding of what was been sent to the inside advisor. Now we could elaborate on this question. We can say how many customers purchased babyware this year. And now we're adding a new context for the category. And you can see again in the quality check, filter categories, babyware. So the number of customers is 34. Now it'll retain the context for the particular dimension, such as it knows it's looking at a particular category. Well, I can just say, how about sportwear? And this way we're changing the value of the category, but we're still looking at the number of customers this year, but for a different category. Kind of like when you have a conversation with somebody, you're kind of retaining that additional uh, previously discussed information and Inside Advisor is doing that here as well. So you can see customers is 46 now for sportswear. Now, if we just want to completely change the question, we can say, show me my sales. And by doing that, still looking in that Inside Advisor chat, you can see because we're still looking at this year and the category named sportswear, we're now looking at sales, previously retaining the additional context that we already discussed. Let's look at top five sales greater than 3,000 for products. And by issuing a top five sales greater than 3,000, it's now going to produce a chart. In this case here, it found product ID, and you can see that right in this area here. And these are the top five product IDs greater than 3,000. We also have a narrative that goes along with this. The top product ID by sales was 76, which is 23% of 1.78 million total sales, where sales were greater than 3,000. Okay, so this is the level of sophistication you can continue within Inside Advisor. We'll do one more. We'll say compare sales and cost by product this year. So now doing a comparison or a correlation between sales and cost for product this year creates a scatter plot. And you can see this particular scatter plot now provides me with additional information about the average cost of sales in this case here, as well as the sales that were made. And you have the correlations for these particular uh, product values. If I wanted to explore this further, I can click on this link that you see here. And you can see that my question has now been brought into our search-based visualization capability. And this question now allows me to see other additional results that could be applicable to my analysis. And at this point here, I can perform additional selections just like I was uh, analyzing data normally, or we could make changes such as, for example, I don't need to look at product name. Maybe I want to look at this information by uh, country. 
So I can switch it over to country. And maybe I don't want to look at the particular date range or the filter that was applied. And maybe instead of looking at average cost of sale or another particular measure, maybe I want to look at the, uh, the discount or the gross profit and make those changes. And then I could add this to an existing sheet or create a new sheet directly from this particular visualization. And then I can go right into my sheet and analyze this data with other visualizations as normal. Thank you.